Hey everyone, it's John here, and in this video we're going to take a look at how we can rename sheets in Microsoft Excel. So we're going to look at seven different ways that you can do this. So you probably already know a couple of the standard ones, but we're going to look at some pretty unique ones that you probably don't know. So stick around to the end. I'm going to show you these interesting ways of renaming sheets. And also we're going to take a look at uh, some ways to automate this. So if you're lazy like me, and you don't want to manually rename sheets, you can automate it with either VBA or Office scripts. So we're gonna take a look at those. Let's get into it. The first method we're gonna take a look at is using the right click menu. So down here in the sheet tab section, if you right click on any sheet, that's gonna bring up this menu. And one of the options here is that you can rename your sheet. So if you select that, it's gonna go into edit mode on the name and you can rename your sheet to pretty much anything you want. The next method we're gonna take a look at is you can double left click on any of the sheets and that's gonna allow you to edit the name or rename your sheet. So you can double left click and then rename your sheet and press enter and that's gonna give your sheet a new name. The next method we're going to take a look at is up in the Home tab. We actually have a command for this. So if we go up to the Home tab and over here underneath the Format options is where you're going to find the Rename Sheet command. So you can click on that and it's going to go into the Edit Mode. And again, you can rename your sheet. Now be aware that you actually have to have the sheet that you want to rename selected before you do that and then you're gonna be able to rename uh, whichever sheet you want. The next method we're gonna take a look at is using a keyboard shortcut to rename your sheets. So anytime you have a command in the ribbon, you can access that using the Alt hotkeys. So when you press Alt on your keyboard, that's gonna light up the next command for you. So here in our case, we wanna to go to the Home tab. So we need to press H. And then again, we want to go to this format menu here. So we need to press O. And then within that menu, the rename sheet command is R. So if we press that, then we're going to be able to rename our sheet. So that's Alt H O R. And then you're going to be able to rename your sheet. The next method we're gonna take a look at is using Excel's accessibility checker to rename our sheets. So if you don't rename your sheets, that's going to be an accessibility issue for people who rely on screen readers. So having a nice descriptive sheet name is gonna help people with visibility issues to navigate the workbook. And so if they're not renamed, that's gonna be an accessibility issue that gets flagged in the accessibility checker. So let's go up to the review tab. And here is where we're gonna be able to uh, use our check accessibility feature. So let's click on that and it's gonna open up this window pane here. So here are the inspection results for this workbook. And you can see that it's warning me about the default sheet names. So if I wanna rename any of these, I can come over here and click on this little arrow and click on rename sheet. And that's going to enter that sheet name into edit mode and I can rename it. So give it a name and press enter. And this is great as a final check if you have a large workbook with a lot of sheets to make sure that you've given them all a sensible name. The next method we're gonna take a look at for renaming our sheets is using the navigation pane. So this is a new feature in Excel for Microsoft 365. And let's take a look at how we can use that. So we're gonna find the navigation pane up in the view tab. We can click on this to open it. And that's gonna list out all the sheets in our workbook along with various objects in the sheet. So we can expand each of our sheets out. And we're gonna be able to use this to navigate to various places in our workbook. So it's gonna list out various things like tables, ranges, pivot tables, shapes, et cetera, that are in our workbook. And we can also use this to rename our sheets. So here we can click or right click on our sheet and choose the rename option. And that's gonna allow us to rename our sheet. Let's press okay. 
So there you go, the navigation pane allows us to navigate around our workbook, but we can also rename sheets from there as well. The next method we're gonna take a look at is renaming our sheets with Visual Basic. So this is gonna be a great option if you have a lot of sheets to rename. So for example, let's say we needed to rename all of our sheets and change them into an uppercase version of the name then you could do that pretty easily with Visual Basic Code. So let's take a look at how we can do this. So first of all, you're going to need to enable the Developer tab. So if we come up to the ribbon, we can right click anywhere and go to Customize the Ribbon. And by default, the Developer tab is unchecked here. So you're just going to need to check that and then press OK. And you're going to see the Developer tab up here in the ribbon then. Once you've got that, you can open the Visual Basic Editor, and this is where you're going to place the code to uh, rename the sheets. So once you're in here, you can go to the Insert tab and insert a module, and this is just where the code is going to live. So I'm just gonna copy and paste in the code that I've already got written, and if you wanna copy this, I've got a link to a blog post that I wrote about this, and you can just copy the code right from that blog post. So this code is pretty simple. It's just gonna loop through all the sheets in the workbook and then rename each of the sheets into the uppercase version of that sheet name. Now let's just get out of the Visual Basic Editor and come back to Excel. And now what we can do is from this macro command, we're gonna be able to run that code. So here is the code that we had pasted in and we can click on run and that's gonna rename all of the sheets and you can see they're all uppercase now. The next method we're gonna take a look at for renaming our sheets is using Office scripts. So this is another way that we can automate this process if we have a lot of sheets to rename. Now, one thing to note is that this is only available with business or enterprise plans of Microsoft 365, and it's only available for Excel Online. So if you have a business or enterprise plan, then you can open up Excel in the web and head over to the Automate tab, and this is where you're gonna find everything to do with Office Scripts. And here's where you'll be able to record an Office script, similar to how you can record a macro for Visual Basic. And you can also create a new script, so that's what we're gonna do. And that's gonna open up the code editor here. And I'm just gonna paste in the code that I've already written for renaming my sheets. And if you want to get this code, I'm gonna have a link in the description to a blog post, and you'll be able to copy the code from there. So check that out. Now with this code pasted in, you can come up here and run this code. And as you can see, it's gonna rename your sheets into uppercase. So similar to the VBA code, all this does is loop through each of my sheets and then it just sets the name to the uppercase version of the sheet name. So there you go, that's seven ways that you can rename your sheets in Microsoft Excel. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. That's it for this video, we'll see you in the next one.